Hey, what did everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit on the tired side right now. I've been having to work nights the past couple of days, and and anytime I do that, it always messes with my sleep cycle just a little bit, and I have a hard time playing catch up. But what we got going on today, super super excited for. We're gonna be warming up the Peterbilt right now. Gonna have to bring the low boy over here. I got a buddy who reached out to me last week, and we are gonna go help him pick up a pretty old dozer. It's an old International, if I'm correct. I think it's a TD15. It's got a tree growing up through the middle of it. So we're gonna have to see what does and doesn't work. Supposedly it starts up, supposedly it runs good. So we're gonna make our way down there, go pick this thing up. But first I gotta do a little bit of prep work. Uh, I have a tire for the low boy sitting right there. So I need to go hook up the low boy. We're gonna bring it over here. And once I get the low boy over here, I'm gonna be showing you guys a little trick. It might be a little bit on the dangerous side, but if you guys are in a pinch and you're stuck on the roadside, this is like one of the easiest ways to change a tire. So I'm not recommending it, but it's just how I do it. So anyhow, there may be some other stuff that makes its way into this video, but if you guys enjoy it, let's go ahead and jump on into it and let's roll. All right, well, now that we got the outside the duel taken off, let's set up out of the way for now. There's dirt on my hands. Now what you guys have to do is get that. Strong hand. like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. This turn might, it's gonna be close. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. All right, so this last turn coming up is by far the absolute worst turn. They say going to sleep this night. We made it, just barely. Try to catch me all in that to move. We got the low boy all hooked up. We're gonna go ahead and drag this thing over to the shop. Or I'm gonna show you guys my cool little trick. All right, well, we got the low boy pulled up next to the shop right here. And again, this is not the safest way to do this. And I don't really recommend doing it. In fact, I would recommend not doing it. But every once in a while, you guys just find yourself in an awful position. And the easiest way to get this tire up off the ground is to get this inside dual up off the ground. So we're gonna go ahead and set a wooden block right here. I'm gonna go ahead and drive forward until this tire is up on the ground. And then once we have this tire up on the block, this outside tire will be free floating in the air. So there are certain trailers where this is actually a safe way to do it, but on this particular one, it is not. And I'll explain that in just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trailer forward, get it up, and then once we take it off, I'll show you guys why it's unsafe. All right, so as you guys can tell, we do have the back tire up off the ground right now. And the reason that this is not very, oh, what happened to my camera? Jeepers. All right, it's gonna be kind of hard to tell from right here, but the tire is up off the ground. The inside dual is sitting up on the block, and so we do have just a little bit of free space down there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and explain why on some trailers this would actually be like a relatively safe option, but on this one, it is not. So right now, you guys can see that the tire is up off the ground. And this particular set of wheels only has one set of lug nuts on it. So there are some trailers that have an inside set of lug nuts and an outside set of lug nuts. Both the end dump and the yellow flatbed, those both have two sets of lug nuts. So basically you could take off this outer wheel and this inside wheel is still gonna be firmly attached. But on this specific trailer, when you take these lug nuts off, technically both wheels could fall off. Now, is it likely that that inside dual is gonna come shooting off when you take those lug nuts off? Probably not, but it is possible. And especially if you got like a heavy load up here, it's gonna be a little bit on the dangerous side. So that's why I said, I do not recommend this. I'm only doing it for the video's sake. I do have a jack and jack stands that I could do this with, but I just wanna show you guys this little trick. And I'm kind of in a hurry, so I'm gonna try and crank this out real fast. All right, got the big kahuna from Harbor Freight. And actually probably one of my favorite tool sets from Harbor Freight is the Pittsburgh Pro heavy duty truck socket set. This has like every single socket for every single wheel configuration. I don't know if anybody else makes one. I've never seen one, but just a rad, rad set. Pretty good bang for buck. I think, I think those are gonna be 33s. Let's see. Bingo, got it. Also another cool little gadget that I know I've shown in the past, but for anybody that's new that has not seen it. But this little guy right here is super cool. It's basically the coupler that connects to the air gun. But right now this is not pressurized until you lift that guy up. So now this is good to go. Makes it way easier to disconnect. Love this little guy. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get this tire off. All right, 
so now that we have the outside dual taken off, I just set it over there for now. Um, realistically, I need to figure out a new place for those. It looks pretty trashy, and uh, they just keep getting more and more sun rot, so probably need to move them under the hay barn. But regardless, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, the wheel studs right here. From what I've been able to gather, and I'm probably wrong, but from what I've seen, this style is a lot more common on the newer trailers. They'll typically have one set of wheel studs or lugs that come through slide both wheels over and you just tighten them down. So on a lot of the older trailers, they actually run like a two lug style configuration. Basically, they'll put on your inside wheel and these will actually have like larger holes cut out with like a bevel in there and you'll tighten it down, get this first wheel on nice and tight. And then you put the second wheel on and tighten it down as well. So I've put a lot of thought into why they've like started steering away from that. I mean, it's probably all money related, but I think the double lug configuration is actually safer. It's kind of like a double fail safe. But regardless, this low boy does not have that, but that's why if this was like the older style or had the two lug style configuration, this wheel would still be firmly fastened to the trailer and putting it up on a block like this would not be an issue because this wheel could not come off. Now, technically speaking, if we had some sort of freak disaster, this wheel could come off right now because there's nothing holding it to it. Now, is it likely that'll happen? No, but it is possible. So regardless, we're gonna go ahead and get this wheel slid over, put it into place, go ahead and install this bed. So if you guys are wondering how much a tire like this costs, depending on the brand, if you go with like Michelin, they are like the king of semi-truck tires, but they are pricey. This one I think was just a little bit over 400 bucks. It's a good tire trailer really does not get used a whole whole lot so i'm not gonna like spend top dollar on these tires if you were to get a michelin probably would have been somewhere around the 600 dollar range but they are like a far superior tire to anyone else i did just put new tires on that probably a month or two ago that was like 6500 bucks it's kind of one of those things that you hate buying but once you've bought them and you've shelled out all that money it's kind of a relief because i get probably about 85,000 miles per set of tires on that thing. So it's not something that I have to worry about a whole lot. But regardless, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing lifted back up into place. The king of all pry bars is here. Excalibur definitely makes life way easier. But I cannot do it with one hand. So I'm gonna have to set the camera down, get this thing installed, and then we'll talk about what's going on tomorrow. You think I, you can do it? I think I might need to get it in more. You need to get it in there more? I mean like this in there. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Okay. Do you need help or can you do it? Um, I think I just need help getting it in there. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can do this as a team. All right. Okay, watch this. Bring it down. Good job, buddy. <laughs> I think we are all set for tomorrow. Got the wheel on there. Hey, do you think you can pick up that heavy wrench? Yeah. Think you can put that away? It's pretty heavy. Just where does it go? It goes underneath the workbench over here. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, right there is great. Oh. Dang. Good job. All right, today's a big day. We're gonna go ahead and roll on over to go pick up that dozer. We're bringing Tractor Boy along with us for the ride. You ready to go? Yeah. All right. A little bit chilly this morning. We're gonna go ahead and let the Peterbilt warm up for a couple minutes again. And uh, so the spot where we're picking up the dozer is not the greatest place in the world. It's kind of like around a blind turn. So we may need these. I'm gonna go ahead and bring them just in case. You guys, I'm having like the best morning. We got my son over there. He's got another GoPro. This is just gonna be like the best video ever. All right, so one of the things that I'm most excited about in picking this thing up is I've only really had the opportunity to run like the much newer dozers. And this one, I've driven by it a thousand times, but I've never gone to actually look at it. And I've never seen the types of controls that it has. So I'm pretty sure that this is like one of the old school dozers, which have like the very, uh, I don't wanna say complicated controls, but, oh, look, we got turkey crossing the road. Hello, Mr. Turkey. 
but I'm very curious to see what the actual controls are like on getting this thing to move back and forth. I know on a lot of these older dozers, it was a lot more technical than just moving a joystick back and forth like it is on these new machines. So I don't know if it's gonna be a challenge for me, but I'm definitely excited to actually move one of these things around and get it loaded up on the trailer. All right, so we just met up with Matt real quick. He grabbed the stop signs. He's gonna go jet out in front of traffic and uh, tell the cars to stop so we can make that entrance into the property safely because it's a little bit on the hairy side. This is gonna break the internet, bro. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I hope so. Hey, will it run? <laughs> There's so many videos like that. This poor, uh, poor bush in front of this thing. Back to the county for after corrections. Yeah. So, it's getting put to work. This ain't no show tractor. I like it. I don't know if you have to pay for it. No, I'm pretty sure he had to pay for it. Uh, million dollars. Is it turbocharged or is it naturally aspirated? Yes, sir. Nice. What year is it? 1978 TD15C. Just needs a little bit of oil, huh? Yeah, I already added a bunch. But... Oh, yeah. Putting a little clamp on. Clampy Clamperson so we don't have diesel spilling out all over. Is that the fuel return? It's like the... Return line for the injectors. Yeah. yeah, exactly for the injectors. This little rubber piece just spitting diesel fuel out of pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Put some big batteries. Yes, sir. Probably too big. Yes. Yeah, no it's such thing. So well, because the seat clearance. Uh oh. Why is this one sitting up all high? Um, oh, never mind. It's just an illusion. Yeah. It, it looks... What? Well... It's at a weird angle. Can you see that? Yeah. Well, it probably has to do with this. Um, oh, it does look like there's... There we go. That'll that'll get her done. Because it's, it's... This tray is designed for uh, 4 6 volts. Ah. Uh -huh. so, you feel like buying 4 6 volt batteries? Right. I thought about it. Perfect. Now all you guys have to do is get that pad in. Pull the seat. You want to hand that to me, Abraham? Sure. Thank you, good sir. You're welcome. Are those your keys? Which ones? Are those pliers your keys? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got the handy dandy set of keys here. All right. Sorry, the button's bad. <laughs> nice. All right, it's a moment of truth. Let's see how this goes.
Yeah? What do you think of it? Yeah. All right, watch out, bud. A little bit leaky. I think that's just water though. So this machine's been sent for a very long time and we're pretty sure what happened was you fired it up, moved everything and then basically drained the oil, filled up all the hydraulics that could be filled up and now the reservoir's empty again. All right, well I think we just dumped all that we had into the tank. Hopefully it's enough. That's just water. Yeah, yeah, because it's filled with water. Yeah. Gotta pull forward just a little bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and track the dozer behind the low boy, and then I'm gonna back up again, drop the low boy, and then we'll get it loaded up. But he does need a little bit more space back there. Oh yeah, here we are. Get low, get low on the trailer. Look at this view. This is darn magical. That's what dreams are made of out here. And the hard work never ends. Need a hand, good sir? You need a hand? You don't need no one, kids. You okay with that? Or do you want me to do it? Okay. Step up to the plate, boys. Yeah. How much throttle does she need to move?
that's what we call premature <laughs> all right let's get out the tools so come and hold that right there just stalled out Oh, you don't have to worry. You can use it, Dad. What? You can use it. Hey. Welcome. But he's still wanting back to use it. Chuck. You want me to load it? I probably should. I think so too. That way you Just so I can unload it. Not me. That's the beautiful. We need this. Real beauty. Show business, kids. Yeah. Siegfried and Roy ain't got nothing on James. James is a superstar, kids. He's like the Miley Cyrus of heavy equipment moving. Let's step back a little bit, y'all. So I don't get run over. Yes, sir. Yep. Teeter totter, kids. Teeter totter. This way. 
Go back the other way a little. I'd go back a little. Go that way. Look at that, kids. James, you just won the Super Bowl. What do you want to do next? <laughs> I just hope we get it unloaded as nicely as it went on. All right, That's kids. That's all I want today. There it is, proof positive. He's not just a hauler. All right, well, we got it all loaded up. Time to make the long trek over to Matt's place. Yes, sir, yes, sir. What's the official distance? Uh, about 2.6 miles. It's a long haul right here, but overall things went pretty good. It's a pretty smooth running machine. This is gonna be a good unit. All right, so this is the part of the trip that is gonna be super tricky. The road gets very narrow and very windy. And the low boy does not do turns like this very well. So definitely gonna have to put on my A game right now. Oh boy. All right. Oh, no. Those are some nice mailboxes. Hopefully we can keep them nice. reposition on this one scoot the back side of the trailer over and then take another stab at it that means I need the trailer over as far as it can possibly be oh yeah that's good <laughs> Here we go. The moment of truth. Are we going to make it? I'll be honest, buddy. I don't know. Yeah, I... This turns pretty gnarly. Yeah, pretty gnarly for a huge truck. But really yeah, easy. and I, I hope there's no rocks in there. I don't think there will be. So we're just going to have to go real slow in case we do hit one. But a tiny one would be okay. Yeah, because if we look over here, just on the other edge of that, if that trailer tips over that way, we're done for, and then we're gonna have to get some wreckers out here. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I'm pretty sure the wreckers would fall down too. Then we would have to get more wreckers out, then drains fall out, then more wreckers, then more wreckers. Until we get a whole lot of those to come out, you know, and get some more space. This is the one I'm really worried about. Yeah, me too. But I think we got it. Yeah, I think we got it because I'm trusting you, Dad. 
I'm trapping you right now. Alright, we made it, bud. Yay! Woo! But I think the trash gun and chip out, bud. Okay. This one is the toughest truck I think we have. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that one had me a little bit worried. Me too. This turn may, it's gonna be close. Oh, oh, no! All right, so this last turn coming up is by far the absolute worst turn. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it. It is super, super tight. So we've kind of got like a very rough game plan. I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna try it. And then if I can't make it, we're gonna drop the dozer and cut a new road because otherwise I have nowhere to turn around. I'm at the very back end of a super, super windy, about mile and a half long road. And I do not feel like backing all the way out because coming in was not easy backing out would be even harder. All right, you ready for this, bud? Yes. Sit back, grab that camera, and we'll see how this goes. Do you have any sports on oh, Fortnite? Sorry, truck. Oh, sorry, truck. I never have even doubted you. Yeah. This is the most hardest thing. I know. What did I get myself into, buddy? I could have just dropped it off. I could have just said no. Oh, boy. We are probably not going to make it. All right, so this turn is not happening. I'll get out and show you guys in just a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and back up a little bit, slide the fifth wheel probably another six or seven inches forward. I think I'll have the clearance for it. Um, we're hoping that'll help a little bit. but. This turn is just too, too tight. Too fat. Too fat. Too fat. Too All right, so right now we need all the help we can get. So we're clearing this back to that fence line right there because there used to be a piece of barbed wire that was just hanging out right here. Back up, hey. And so we need to get as far that way as possible. And right now I got the low boy back on the ground. We're gonna go ahead and slide the fifth wheel forward to try and help making this turn because, so you guys can see our tires, were like right next to that T-post. And there was no way that it was gonna make the turn. It was probably just gonna like destroy those T-posts. So it's gonna be super close. Push come to shove, we're just gonna drop it right here. Then we'll have to cut a road right here because I'm gonna have to be able to turn around something. Take her a little wider. Yes! Yes! I think we're almost gonna make it! Yeah! Oh, yo, we got it! Woo! I got this dude. I was just a dumbass. We made it! Just barely. Ooh, that was close. Yep. I thought this thing was going to fall off. I mean, I keep hearing that, like, this is the last hard turn, but you guys, it just keeps getting smaller and smaller. This is, like, way too far back here. Cool. All right, well, we made it. Definitely not the easiest road I've ever been down. It was, it was pretty tight, but she's here. Matt's happy. Woo! We're gonna get this thing on the ground and he's gonna have some fun. Yes, sir. This is what we call out here on the West Coast. California pull out. Oh yeah, there it goes. There it goes. All right, well the GoPro is starting to run low on batteries and I forgot to bring more. So we've got the drone up in the sky. We're gonna get some filming while we get this thing unloaded. We're gonna go ahead and have to do the hot wrench to get this thing started again. The starter button is pretty much uh, toast, doesn't do anything. So 
He ran over to grab his needle nose pliers because on the back side of this right here, you guys can see those nice wires. Maybe, maybe not, but basically just has to jump it. And then this thing will fire right up, at which point I will continue to drive it off. Got a switch down there. Yeah, it's already on. We didn't turn it off. Okay. Batteries are probably dead now. Right. I'm just playing. We are neutral. Okay, that's up. Up, okay. up. We're good. Let her rip. All right. You guys, this thing sounds so healthy. I love these old machines. Battery might die on it. It's coming down. Hey, James, your cane is there. Do you care? Can you move that real quick? Yeah. All right, kids, here we go. Sinking, baby. Down to the ground, kids. Down to the ground. Look at that. No teeter potter. Um. Let's put it like right here. Oh, let's get out of the way. Like right here is fine. Oh yeah, kids. Where do I want my new tractor? Right here. Hey, can you pull it forward like another 10 feet? That? Can you pull it forward a few more feet? Perfect kids. It's like he almost knows what he's doing, y'all. And you thought he just get got paid to look good. I love it. I love every bit of this thing, man. It's oh. driving. Oh yeah. You remember how to do it? No, yeah, I know how to do it. I'm, I'm doing it right now though. Okay. Right through there. Okay. Yeah, so. All right, so supposedly this is the best view in the valley. And I'm gonna have to agree. This is really pretty, guys. Check this out. This is what we call the 1892 kids, which is the elevation. This is beautiful. And this is where the main house will Main go. house is gonna go right here. Edgeless pool right here. You could go fishing. Yep. Wink, wink. <laughs> of course we never go down there. Yeah. But it would be nice if it's pretty good. It would be nice. You would love that. It's a good yeah. thing we don't live here. And the house will be sort of like this. How far down are you going right here? 
I don't know. I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten that far with that one. I'm, I'm doing this one first, and then we'll, we'll see how much that, do, you know. <laughs> I don't like to get. Uh, You're gonna get real friendly with some big rocks. Oh yeah, no, I know. They're gonna become your arch nemesis. Yeah. In case you guys aren't aware, there are some huge boulders out here, and they are not fun to work with. Yep. And this is pretty much as full as this reservoir has been in probably maybe 20 years. So you can see it's actually at the road right there. Yeah, this is. So once they once it gets any fuller, they'll probably drain it down a little bit, maybe 20, 30 percent. Yeah. Because tomorrow we're supposed to be getting like two inches of rain, which yeah. means yeah, even more. Exactly. All right. Well, uh, I think we're gonna head back down and get that low boy connected. See if I can get back out of this place. Yes, sir, kids. We're gonna try and get out. You guys, that road is is something else with the low boy. That probably might be one of the hardest roads I've ever been down. All right, guys. Well, we are pretty close to being done. We're just headed back out the impossible road now. So assuming everything goes well, and uh, it should be a little bit easier because we do not have anything sticking over the side of the low boy anymore. I'm hoping that it's a lot easier to get out than it was coming in, but that's not always the case. Sometimes turns are harder going one way than they are the other. So we're gonna see how this is going the opposite direction now. And uh, let's just hope we don't have to call any wreckers coming out here. All right, what do you think, bud? Think it's gonna be possible? All right, here we go. So we are hugging this corner as best we can. And we're just gonna go for it. I think it's gonna be worse going this way. What? It's worse going this way than it was that way. All right, guys, well, we made it out of the hard part. We're still on a pretty windy road, but these are all easy turns and no job is complete without some sort of uh, confrontation from a Karen. We're on the very last turn. The silver car comes up. All right, you better not hit anything. Uh, getting out, taking pictures of my truck. It's like, come on guys, really? What's the point of this? Like, I'm already almost out of the valley and they're over there making a big deal out of it. <laughs> if they'd have seen me about 20 minutes ago, it would have been a whole nother story. All right guys, well we made it. We are on the home stretch. The rest of the trip is easy. It's just a very casual cruise to get back to the ranch. Not gonna lie, that was probably the hardest move. It took me four and a half hours to drive five miles. So definitely on the trickier side of things, that's gonna be one for the books. And uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this up once we get home. And uh, I'm just glad we're able to get it there because that is such a cool old tractor. I'm sure we'll be playing around with it more in the future, but I'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, well, as you guys can tell, we made it back to the shop. You guys, as far as working with old equipment goes, I love doing it. Sometimes it goes great, sometimes it goes not so great. I would put this one like, right in the middle because getting it to where it needed to go, that was super, super not easy. And even leaving was hard, but the actual machine ran great. It was super cool because I've never ran a dozer with those style controllers. Everything that I've ever operated has been the much newer style where it's just a joystick that moves the machine. So this one has like the old school cutting brakes and maybe we'll jump back over there another day to show you guys the machine in greater detail. I was kind of in a hurry to get back to the shop. So, so I'm glad everything ended up going relatively smooth. We did have to make the road a little bit wider in a couple spots, but I kind of figured that was gonna have to happen when I looked at the Google Maps last night because super, super tight road, but such a fun machine to drive. I can't wait till it actually starts doing the grading. I'm gonna try and sneak over there and actually run the machine a little bit. It'd be a lot of fun. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws this video. If you guys could do me a huge solid like, subscribe, share this video, hit that notification button down below so you guys can continue to see progress on whatever else we got going on. Like this, you guys see it's getting pretty close. Just got a couple more parts than I need and we will see you guys next time. Later.